Hi everyone! I feel like this lighting's really weird, but if I hold my hand up here, I feel like it makes the lighting better. So I'm just gonna awkwardly hold my hand like this, pretending that I'm trying to keep my sunglasses on on a windy day or something. Also, let's just not talk about the hair, okay? It's just like, I don't know if it's like the collar with this hair, it's all a little bit all over the place. So just ignore my hair in this video, okay? Anyway, welcome back to a shop with me. No, that's, I butchered that a little bit. Welcome back to a come shop with me. We're gonna do Zara, TK Maxx, HomeSense, H&M, Tiger, maybe a few other shops as well. I feel like my hand looks a lot paler than my face. It probably does. Let's just also ignore that. Let's just ignore the appearance, okay? We're here to go shopping together. We're here to have a little shopping day. So I'm going to stop blabbering. I've just been to Primark because I've filmed that as a separate, like, what's new in Primark. So I'll leave that link down below because I think that will have already gone live. So if you want to see that, go and watch that. I've done it as a separate video. But now we're going to go to the rest of the shops. We're going to have a little shopping trip together. I'm going to stop rambling. <laughs> we're going to get going. Let's go shopping together, okay? We've made it to Zara and I've not actually been in Zara in absolutely ages so i'm really hoping they're gonna have like so many new in amazing bits that i'm gonna be really excited by i love this like one shoulder asymmetric jumper it's 35.99 it doesn't actually feel itchy it's quite soft and it's like a fluffy gray and then you oh my god look at how tiny that looks that looks ridiculous but then it's like really tight on that sleeve and then there's no sleeve on the other side so it's kind of like baggy one shoulder Maybe with some like wide leg jeans, no like wide, wide leg trousers that could look quite nice. I can't decide if I really like this or like it looks like something that I don't know. I can't think of something but like I feel like this could be quite nice because it's quite fitted. I really like the material and the colour but I also just don't know if it looks a bit frumpy. I don't really know how I feel about it. It doesn't have a price on it, it just says wool blend. I don't really know what else is there. Oh I thought maybe they had like matching skirt or something but they don't. It's like a really thick cardigan jacket i don't actually know what that is this bomb is quite nice so it's like a brown really soft slightly cropped oh my god is that 75 oh my god why is that 79.99 i thought that was gonna be like 35.99 why is that so expensive this little knit is quite cute it's like i'm gonna show you this one it'll be easy it's gray with like a rhinestone neckline and i don't really like that like the rhinestone and pearls but i think it's quite subtle and quite nice and then it just goes down like that it's a really soft material kind of like a little cropped cardigan that you could wear like done up and undone and then you've just got that little bit of spark on the colour. I actually think that's really pretty. It's 45 99 Why does there have to be music playing in Zara today? Please don't get me copyrighted. This jumper was not the right thing to wear today because look at the size of this cuff. It's just getting stuck in the bag all the time. But look at how pretty these heels are. I think I prefer these ones. They're like a silver, like pearly. They're absolutely stunning. Look at them. And they've just got like a sling back and then they've also got these where like that open toe as well i definitely think i prefer these ones but like how pretty for like a wedding or something they've come out with a new color in the zara tracksuit that we all know i'm obsessed with this bomber wide leg combination i literally love it and it's like a kind of camely brown color i love that i still think i prefer the cream and the gray marl but i also do kind of love this color look at how nice that is like it works so well with my uggs i kind of like this but then i'm also not too sure because i just don't know how that would look when styled like these little crop knit vests like i think they're a nice idea but i just don't know how like easily are to actually wear this collection i saw online the other day and they basically just chucked a belt on everything so there's like this belted dress this like fluffy jacket with this like belt detail a little like pleated skirt with a belt a shirt with like like a crop shirt with belt detail and then that's not it it carries on <laughs> they've also got this top here with this belt detail like it's literally everywhere i feel like this top could look quite nice 25.99 UK market only. I've never seen that tag before. What does that mean? I'm a bit confused. Does that mean they don't have it in like Spain and stuff? I don't know. But I feel like style the right way. That has potential. But I just don't really know how I feel about this collection. This is quite cute though. This little like tracksuit set it says Marseille France on it. That is so soft as well. And then the matching joggers. I don't think they've got anything on them. I think they're just plain like wide leg. But I actually quite like the colour scheme, the font does kind of look a bit childish but it's quite sweet this is also nice i feel like this whole little area is so nice there's this little like brown cropped cardigan oh my god i love this just like a brown knit vest why is that 32.99 though i feel like that is so expensive i know it's 100 percent wool but still i'm not spending 33 pound on a vest i probably would have got that as well if it was like 15.99 i probably would have bought it because like imagine this with like some white wide leg trousers in the summer well, not, not summer, but the springtime. It's giving, like, Sophia Tuxford. I can imagine her wearing something like this. And I think this would look so nice. Like, imagine wide leg cream trousers, this bag, and the vest. That would look so nice. I actually really want this, but I refuse to spend $32.99 on it. Like, I feel like that is so steep. I'd rather it not be well and be cheaper. I don't know if I'm the only one. I don't know if that's really, like, stingy of me, but 
I'd rather it be like 50.99 and be like 2% wool and the rest like polyester or whatever. Because look at how cute. Oh my God, I actually love it. Why am I getting so obsessed over a plain vest? I don't know. But I just love the concept, like a summer top, but it's like wintry because it's like wool. I love that like kind of juxtaposition. Also the hair today, I've had to put the sunglasses on the head to get out of the way. It's very curly and even though it's short now, it's still getting off my grill. It's getting on my nerves. So, and also the bag kept falling off my shoulder. So I've had to wear it cross body. So I look like a bit of an idiot really. It's all kind of gone downhill from here, but I was getting a little bit overstimulated, which is why I always wear my hair slicked up in a ponytail when I come shopping. And I didn't today and I'm kind of regretting it. These body suits look so nice. Like, they're so basic, but I really like the gray color and also the black one. It's kind of giving like ballerina vibes. I don't know why. I feel like they look really long. But I just think the neckline and like the sleeve shape and everything is really flattering. Again, they've got this weird tag on them. I think they're 15 99 which isn't too bad because they're quite a nice thick material and they'd be super versatile and go with a lot. The big question is though, are they popper? Yes, they are. Okay, they passed the test. They're a popper bodysuit and I think they're kind of like a thong sort of bottom. I feel like they just look really long. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like the length on that bodysuit looks really long, like a long torso would be needed. But I really like the grey actually. Again with like white wide leg trousers or jeans or something, I think that would look so nice. These are the Skims Tubes tops, but I don't know if like the sleeve length is a bit weird. They're kind of like a capped sleeve and I'd almost rather them be like an actual t-shirt rather than this like awkward in between of a vest and a t-shirt. But they've got a navy and we all know I'm obsessed with navy at the moment and it's such a nice material. They've got a white and a black and they're just like slinky Skims vibes, but I really love the navy. But I just don't know if that sleeve length is really, really weird. It says 8.95 euro, so I don't know how much that would be in pounds, but it's gonna be like eight pound probably, which is so good. I was gonna get one to try on, but they're literally all with medium. They don't have any small, so I might order it online because I feel like that would be such a good basic to have. And I've picked up these shorts, which I found in the sale. I think together they look really nice, but they don't have my size, which is so annoying. I've never seen this coat before and it's not new in because it's in the sale section, but I just had to show it. This is a coat in case anyone wants to try and get it, but like, it is so nice. It's like, it feels like a duvet. It's like so squishy and comfy and it's got this big collar. I absolutely love it. Like the shape of it and everything is so nice, like a cropped boxy fit. And I can't believe I've never seen that before. Like how has that been like full price for ages and I've just never seen it? They actually have loads of sizes left as well. So worth having a look in your Zara if they have it. It's meant to be 80 pound, but it's now 36. And it is so nice. Like I'm literally obsessed with that. For like dog walking or something, that would be the comfiest, coziest thing. Oh my God, I love this bag. It is so cute. It's giving like Jacquemus vibes. I don't know if it's a bit too small though, like practicality wise. It's 25.99. I think it might come with a long strap. Look at how nice that is. They also have it in a black as well, but I love this brown color. Like the color of it and everything just looks so expensive. I'm slightly intrigued slash confused by this. It's like a little pin badge brooch thing, but it's like a naked woman. I feel like styled the right way, that could look quite cool, but I feel like you'd have to wear that. Like you'd have to be a certain type of cool person to be able to pull that off. Look at this, they've got a limited edition perfume, which is Zara Red Temptation mix with Zara Rose Command. It's called Love Explosion. I'm guessing it's for Valentine's Day. It smells quite nice, it's quite floral, but I've not seen this before, like a little special limited edition Valentine's perfume. Like they've merged two of the perfumes together for 22 99 How cute is that? I've ended up picking literally so many items up. So I thought we could go to the change room and try them all on. I picked up a few of the tracksuits and everything. I don't know why I'm telling you because I'm literally about to show you me trying them on, but I've got about seven items, I think. So I'm gonna go to the change rooms, hope that they're open, and then we can try this all on and see what it looks like. Okay, we're in. I've got the shorts on. These were an absolute bargain. 5 99 instead of 25 99 and they're actually my size and they fit really well. Ignore the top I'm wearing with them. It doesn't really go. This was just what I had on underneath my jumbo for extra layers. But I actually quite like them. Like, I feel like this longer short is gonna be quite popular this year and they fit really well. Like, they're really, really comfy. And I feel like this longer length, yeah, like I said, it's gonna be like quite in this year. And I just think it looks a little bit more like, this is not okay. <laughs> Having this mirror here is not flattering. Maybe I should stand like this because that was really showing all my bad sides. I just think they're quite versatile. They're gonna go quite a lot, but it's quite difficult to see with this top they don't really work very well i did also obviously of course i had to get the knit vest to try on but i couldn't find any let me just move this a second why are like all these broken as well like can we please sort that out <laughs> i couldn't find any um white wide leg trousers to try on with this so maybe we should try this on with the shorts i mean again i don't really think it's going to go but this is the only bottoms really that i picked up that this is going to work with so we'll try this on with it and see because i just don't feel like the long sleeve top like i mean that's tucked in horrendously but just imagine this with like a cute little vest top or something in the summer talking of vests she is now on i did say that i thought these um shorts would be so versatile but everything i've put on with them i absolutely hate so maybe i won't be getting the shorts this i got in a medium i don't know if maybe like sizing up would be better 
feel like it either needs to be really baggy or it needs to be really fitted and this is like an awkward in between but imagine this tucked into some white wide leg trousers i think it would look so nice i really really love it but i'm just i'm not going to spend 32.99 on a vest yeah, like i just can't it. be justifying that but yeah look at these shorts like this is giving frumpy this is not giving cute so maybe these are not a good length maybe they're a little bit too like long or something i don't know i think i'm going to try it on with the bodysuit actually i feel like this is going to be third time lucky the ultimate test it's like goldilocks um for the shorts if this doesn't look good with the shorts then i don't think anything will but do you see what i mean about the length of this bodysuit i just feel like it looks so long like my crotch does not end there my crotch is there why is it so long i take it back i don't really know what kind of sorcery is going on but somehow this bodysuit actually isn't too long for me like it is a good length i don't know how that's happened but anyway this is what it looks like on it's actually a really nice soft like fitted material Still don't think it really goes with the shorts. I think maybe the shorts are the issue, which is gutting because they're such a good price, but I think they'll be going back. I feel like I need to hold my camera with two hands. My hands are really shaky for some reason. Maybe it's the coffee. But yeah, I feel like this fits really nicely. It's like a really soft material. And then the back's quite a nice, like, lowish back, but you can still wear a bra without your bra strap showing, which I love. But I just don't feel like it's doing enough for me. Like, I like it. I probably would have bought it in Primark for, like, £5, but I don't feel like I love it enough to, like get it do you know what i mean i quite like the sleeve length like it's not short and it's not long but something's not quite 100 percent about it i was surprised that i picked this up no i don't know where we are i just couldn't help myself am i gonna buy it no i'm gonna try and make myself resist but i just had to try it on i just couldn't resist i just love the color and we know my life these track suits the willpower was low okay let's not judge no stop it i literally love this i do not need another one i already have it in cream i have it in gray I do not need the beigey brown camely, whatever colour you want to call this, but it is absolutely delicious. I'm obsessed with this. I feel like it works really well with my hair colour. I just can't help myself when it comes to these tracksuits. I love them. And we all know I'm not a tracksuit girly as well, so that's saying something coming from me. But like, they just look so nice, like unzipped, with like a little vest underneath, or like half zipped, fully zipped, you name it. I love them. Don't love this side mirror situation going on though. It's literally the most unflattering thing. Maybe I should just film here. This isn't as good like full length though, but this like side angle thing is just not flattering for me. This hair as well today, I just can't get over how crazy my hair looks, oh my god. Anyway, tracksuit, 10 out of 10, absolutely love it. I really need to be strong to not walk out of the shop buying this. I also picked up this tracksuit, even though we all know I'm not a tracksuit girly, but yeah, I just can't decide if I love it or not. Like I quite like the navy together. I think I like the front, but then part of me looks like you could get this in the kids section. Do you know what I mean? Like. It's kind of a fine line between this looking cool and it looking a little bit childish, but I also blah, 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 I also picked up the matching joggers. They're just a pretty basic like cream cuff jogger, but I thought I might as well try it on and see what it looked like. This is actually so much nicer than I was expecting. The jumper's actually a little bit cropped and it actually fits so nicely. The only thing I would say though, the joggers aren't, um, like there's no drawstring in them. They're like a really stretchy elasticated waistband, but you can't like make them any tighter or anything with a drawstring which i don't love and also i feel like the bottom of the cuffs look a bit weird on me i'd probably like roll them up a little bit i reckon like roll them up twice i think they would like look a little bit nicer but this is actually so cute it's kind of giving me like american university vibes even though it says france on it but i just love it i think like because this is slightly cropped and like a baggy boxy fit i just think it looks so nice together like it is kind of cute and last but not least we have the coat i thought i might as well just try it because it just looks so nice i also feel like it might be the type of thing that you take to the till and it actually scan through cheaper you know like that sometimes happens in the cell and it literally makes your day the best day ever it really doesn't go with this jumper but just like trust the process imagine this with like a cute like black long sleeve adenola set and leggings look at how cute it's so squishy does it have pockets oh yeah it does it's here it's literally so squishy and comfy like this neck bit i really love it feels like a pillow i feel like i could go to sleep on it it's just such a comfy coat but i also feel like it's quite practical because it's water repellent and i reckon it would keep you really warm because it's really thick and squishy so it's a bit of a win-win-win like it's a nice like nice looking dog walking coat but it's also practical and obviously you could wear it like not just for dog walking but I feel like practical coats are quite hard to find nice ones, but I feel like this one is so nice. Okay, we are finally out of Zara. I feel like I've managed to somewhat tame the crazy hair by putting my sunglasses in. And now for H&M, but I find this H&M isn't normally that good. Like the other one in Cambridge is normally better, but it's like on the other side. So we're gonna give this a go. Hopefully we'll find some good bits in here, but it's not my favorite, I'll have to be honest. Like, what is this? This had potential. I saw it, I thought, oh cute, maybe like a gray knitted little dress, but like, where is the shape in that? That is gonna be so unflattering because it literally like, do you know what I mean? It just goes like straight down, not a cute length, like that had potential H&M, but you've bottled it. This is kind of cute. It's like a little boucle cropped bomber jacket. I feel like that could look quite nice if like styled the right way. It could look quite posh and expensive. £32.99 as well, which I don't think is bad because in Zara that would be like £60 at least. This would be quite nice with just some plain grey joggers as like a loungewear, tracksuit lounge around the house thing. £18.99. What does it actually even say? Mason, Degley, Artisti. 
don't know who that is don't know what that means don't know if that's an actual person but it's just like a classic grey mouse so you could probably find some matching joggers and just have it as like a cute little loungewear set I normally feel like the accessory section in this H&M is better like it's tiny but it's normally better than the clothing they've got some swim oh my god I love this I was gonna say they've got some swimmer out I love this look at how nice I love that pattern that is so nice just like a classic like triangle bikini top I don't love the bottom so like the bottoms are like a high-waisted. I mean, they look nice together, but I'd rather them be like a tie-side bottom because I find tie-side bottoms work best with like tie tops like this, you know what I mean? Like, I just feel like the bottoms could look nicer. But normally h and do like matching beach bags and stuff. And imagine having like a matching like little hat or like sarong or something to wear with this on holiday. That would look so cute. The bottoms are... I don't know. Let me see how much the top is. The top is £12.99, which isn't bad. Although, having said that, I did literally just buy a bikini and prime up for £5 for the top and the bottoms together. So, this is a little bit more expensive, but it is a really pretty print. They also have this, which is giving like tons of Gigi vibes. I don't love this. I don't know what this is all about. That stitching detail, but it's kind of like the crinkle, sort of like tons of G style swimsuit which is quite nice and it's 21.99 which isn't bad for a hansa Gigi, but i feel like you could get like a better one from primark that's even cheaper oh my god i do love this one though the black with the white piping i don't know what it is about this in swimwear but i just love it i feel like it looks so expensive although having said that this feels quite see-through not see-through but like thin however i have just noticed on the back it's got like a scoop low back which i absolutely love but that bottom bit, that does not look very flattering. It's 2024, why can we not be making swimwear that's flattering on the bum? Because I just know that's going to look like a saggy full nappy, which nobody wants. It's 21.99. I feel like she had potential, but there's also a lot of room for improvement. They also have this little like crochet one, but oh my God, that is the thinnest thing ever. I can't even put into words how thin this material is. Normally bikinis are so much thicker than that, like even Primark ones. But this one's got like no line or anything that is so thin and for 11.99 as well just go to primark i feel like it's actually better quality in primark and it's cheaper although that is kind of cute like a stripey it's not even crochet i don't even know how you'd explain that it's just got like little holes in it and stuff but other than that i feel like h&m was a bit of a fail i don't know if it's just this h&m because like i said it's not a very good one but there's all these clothes but it's just not giving anything i'm quite tempted by this headband because it looks like the perfect gray mile to go with like adenola gray mile like leggings kind of long sleeve set i really want the tarless set but I feel like I should probably like, it makes more sense to buy the Tala set first and then like wear it to H&M and see if this matches because like I feel like in theory this would match really well but I wouldn't want to buy it and then like get the Tala one and realise they don't actually match but like that would look so cute with a matching grey like gym set to go to a yoga or Pilates or just like an athleisure look it's only 3 99 they've got loads of them they also have these little like bow ones which are really pretty but I really like the colour of this I feel like it is literally the perfect shade of grey mal okay next up the plan is Tiger because I want to see if they've got any cute like Valentine's Day things but before I do that I've got a free birthday Krispy Kreme that I'm gonna claim because why would I not get a free Krispy Kreme donut? I've also got a free Greg's one to claim and I've already claimed my um, free um, Gail's hot drink and cinnamon bun today. I'm really getting all the birthday freebies. So I'm gonna do that and then we will go to Tiger. Okay, that was a fail. Lucky I checked before I went in going past empty handed because I just realized it said before the 31st of January and today's the 31st of January. I thought it would include today, but it doesn't. And luckily I checked before I went in, otherwise that would have been so embarrassing. But now we're flying Tiger and there's a lot of Valentine's stuff in the window. So I feel like this might be a little bit more successful than the Krispy Kreme situation. I really don't get this. Like why would anybody want this? Is it meant to be like a Valentine's poo? Honestly, why would you want to drink out of that? I really don't get that. I think that's disgusting. I always think this stuff looks so cute, like for Christmas and Valentine's Day, but like when I actually look at it, I don't actually fancy any of it. Do you know what I mean? Like, I think it's a cute idea, but the actual food is just a bit like meh. Like, do I want a chocolate shaped man? No. I guess this is meant to be like a here's a boyfriend because you don't have one one, but it doesn't even say that on there. So, like, why would you just give someone a random chocolate man with no like joke on the packaging? Do you know what I mean? This is quite cute. You're as irresistible as free candy but you're telling me I'm paying £2.50 for that many sweets? Absolutely not. This flower pot is kind of giving like TK Maxx vibes. You know, the love heart, no, not love heart. What are they? The lips ones in there. It's giving that kind of vibe. I don't know how much it is, because it doesn't say it anywhere, but they literally have, I don't know why it's so loud in here. I'm so sorry, but they've just got loads of like random little heart things. That's quite cute, like a little tear and share face mask. But they've got some cute things if you're having like a Galentine's or Valentine's little party or get together. These are so sweet. These are £1.50 for little heart shaped napkins. They've got little paper confetti you could put on the table. They have got some really sweet things for like 
posting and stuff. These are also so cute. Little heart shaped straws. I just wish they did like silicone reusable ones because I would have actually bought them. But I just don't want like non reusable straws. But they're so cute. They've got little hearts in them and they've got pink and red ones in there. This is also cute. Little like love heart shaped serving bowls. So yeah, if you're having like a little Galentine's party, you could get little matching socks. They're quite cool as well, those earrings. And so are they. They say love. So yeah, if you're having like a Galentine's thing, I think Tiger's quite good. But other than that, I'm not really feeling it today, to be honest. This is kind of cute, like a double-handed mug. I quite like this as well. If you're into friends and you love that whole like lobster thing, that's quite a cute little mug. They've got a lot of like lobster themed things in here but don't shoot me i've never actually watched friends because i hate canned laughter so i don't really get the reference to lobster but if you do they've got loads of like lobster things in here which are quite sweet so you're telling me this bag of sweets is three pound and you get this much in there and then this card is two pound fifty for like ten sweets like i get you're getting the card for it as well but like that is a little bit of a joke just might make it yourself or i'd rather just have a card and have the bag of sweets for like the same price as this do you know what i mean I feel like that's a little bit of a scam. This is actually so cute. Look at this, like a little LED light. It is quite small, but it's only £12 and the eye is dotted with a love heart, which I think is so cute. If you had like a pink girly room, that would look so nice. This is so cute for like a one line a day type thing because I've got a book like that, which is literally called One Line A Day and you write one, this is so stupid or a stupid thing. I'm just repeating myself and like stating the obvious, but it's like you write one line a day for five years. And I don't know how much that one was, but this one's only seven pounds and it literally looks the same. Like you have the page, like the date at the top of the page and then 20 and then like for this year, for example, you'd put 24 next to it and then you just write what you did that day and you've got it for five years. So then you can like look back at what you did that day for like the past five years. And I think it's like different colors for each year. Oh no, actually no, it's different colors for each month, which is quite a cute idea. I absolutely love my one line a day book. But like I said, I don't know how much it was, but this might be a cheap alternative. And it does look quite cute as well. It's like a faux leather cover. And then these are like the different colors. I've dropped off the Primark bag to the car because this is now serious. This is the serious shopping time. We've come to the motherland. We've come to TK Maxx and HomeSense. And if you've seen my videos before, you know my love for this store. You know how dangerous it is for my bank account. And I'm hoping they're gonna have some really cute, like Valentine's cute things like that in as well as some like good skincare, actually. Let's start in the beauty section. I feel like I never know what I'm gonna expect in here. And sometimes I find some actually like really good pieces I never think they'll sell in here they've got that Florence brand in here I can't remember who makes it it says by Mills and I want to say it's like Millie Bobby Brown but I don't know if I'm completely wrong in that they've got the concealer in here it's 4 99 instead of 16 which is actually really good if they have your shade but other than that I'm not really seeing much I thought there was going to be some really good beauty bits in here but today it's like classic TK Maxx jumble sale type thing other than this actually Pixie H Toy Skin Tint I actually really want to try a skin tint I've never tried them and I feel like I'd actually really like it for like light makeup days this one's only 6 99 as well, but that obviously is not my shade, which I'm kind of glad about because I so would have got that if they had my colour. What's this? Silk foundation. Yeah, I really want to try a skin tint. I might try the Maybelline one because I've seen a lot of people use the Maybelline one and it looks really nice. Either that or the L'Oreal one, I think, but I kind of need to go to Boots for that, which I can't be bothered to do today. There's also not a Boots. I don't think there's one over there. I don't think there's a Boots around here, but maybe I'll do that next time we come shopping because I feel like a skin tint would like, I would actually love that. Like I like Drunk Elephant Bronzing Drops skin tint and just kind of go with that rather than putting foundation on. But TK Maxx apparently is not going to be the place that I'm going to get that. If you want to try dermaplaning or dermaplaning, I don't actually know which word it is. Uh, TK Maxx apparently is the best place to come for that because they literally have so many of them. Like I don't think I've ever seen so many in my life. These ones look so nice actually. Like they've got some really nice shaped ones. Like these ones as well. I mean, it probably doesn't really matter what they look like it's more so obviously like the razor but on them but they have such a good selection in here i'm kind of intrigued by this smooth juice super smooth conditioning water it's a leave-in conditioner 4.99 power berry hair health complex i don't really get it is that just like a scam kind of thing or has anyone tried this and does it actually do anything because i'm kind of intrigued by that i also love like the applicator on the bottle i feel like that would be really fun to you know like imagine this is your scalp right Shh imagine that oh look they've got all the things i've seen on tiktok like the two little teddy things together they've got like a peanut butter and jelly they've got the cherries they've got oh, little macaroons they've actually got so much in here i thought loads of these things would have sold out because they're so why is that one so heavy that is literally so heavy that little heart one they've got little donuts as well self-love club they've got some quite cute um candle things this is just downstairs by the till but i'm actually surprised they've got these because i thought these were so popular look at how cute this is 39.99 for this like giant how high does it go up to kind of kind of like my hip height little like egg thing that is so cute for like a statement maybe like by your front door or, like by the stairs or something like this i mean you can make it look better than that but imagine like next to the stairs in your house that would look so cute that bottom bit as well with the tulips on is adorable so cute and pastely and like springy oh they've got all the easter stuff out already that is so cute 
Look at this little like carrot, um, what would you call this? Like a wreath but with like a candle holder in. That is so cute. I love little like carrots. I don't know what it is about them. I just think they're so cute. I can't believe all the Easter like bunnies and eggs are already out. I feel like it wasn't even that long ago that we had all the Christmas stuff. What is this? Seaside treats. I don't know what that is. It looks like a fish and chip box. And it's so lightweight, but it doesn't say what's in it and I'm scared to open it. These little carrots would look so cute on like a table if you were doing like an Easter supper or something. Don't know why I said supper, I never call it that, but like an Easter dinner, like a roast lamb or something. They're so sweet, 4 .99. Other than putting them on a table, I don't really know what else you do with them, but they're so cute. They've got a couple of Valentine's bits upstairs, but this is literally it. And that is kind of it for Easter as well. Like there's really not much seasonal stuff in here. I thought they'd actually have a little bit more than that, but they've got like a giant little like macaroon, the little cupcake and stuff. But other than that, that is kind of it for like seasonal things, which is a little bit of a shame. Oh, that strawberry's actually quite cute. It's like a little chocolate dipped strawberry. But yeah, that is literally it. Like that one section for Easter and then that. Okay, actually I take it back. I've just found this cushion. How cute is this? I love this. Like a white tufted cushion with little bunnies on. That is so cute. 19 99 I already have a tufted bunny cushion, which is beige. So I really do not need that. I also really do not need any blankets, but I cannot help myself when it comes to TK Maxx and looking at the blankets because sometimes they have really cute seasonal ones. Like we all know I've got the Christmas tree one and the ghost one. So if I could get a cute Easter one, then I'd have the whole set. Oh, this is also like a Valentine's Day cushion. Look, it says XOXO all over it. Again, it's like a little tufted one. That's actually really soft. It's quite a nice material. I'm not seeing any. They would normally be kind of around here. This one looks like it's got dogs on it. Is that a dog? Oh my God, I think that's a golden retriever and a little love heart jumper. How cute is that? But I can't see any like tufted, the Rachel Zoe tufted ones I literally love. This one's quite cute actually. It's got little love hearts on. It's kind of 3D as well, but it's not what I'm looking for. I actually don't need a blanket. Like who needs an Easter blanket? Not me. So it's probably a good thing they don't have any. Otherwise I probably would have bought one. What's this one? Is this another dog one? Oh, that's cute. Putting that in like your dog's bed or something. So I had a cute little blanket to sleep on. That's adorable. I quite like this one. This is so cute. It's got little strawberries on it. It's quite a nice material as well. It's 24 99 Oversized, irresistibly soft. Is it double-sided? No, that's what it looks like on the other side. It looks a bit weird on that side, but that's so cute. Especially like the red and white. Kind of looks like a tomato as well at the same time though. But I'm pretty sure it's meant to be a strawberry. Oh my God, look at this mug. How cute is that? It's actually quite a big mug as well. Like it's a really good size. This little cake stand is also adorable. It's only like a cupcake size or like a one person portion cake size. But I think that is so cute. They've also got this little bunny. Oh my God, they've got a bunny with a carrot. Obviously that's gonna be my favorite. Uh-oh, not them having a Le Creuset pink mug in here. I really thought I was gonna manage to, oh no. I've just seen, I love the pink, but I've just seen they've got the beige and they've got quite a few beige. Oh my God, if I had a house, I would literally buy all four of them. How perfect. As if TK Maxx have literally got four of the same mug and their Le Creuset, how nice is that? I'm literally obsessed with that, but I really do not need to buy any more mugs. Oh my God, they've got even more. They've got so many beige ones. There's another one there, there's another pink one. Oh my God, there's another pink one, there's a blue one. Oh my God, how many are there? There's literally so many Le Creuset in here. There's also like that color as well. I literally love this, but A, I don't need any more mugs and B, I really don't need to buy this. I really thought I was gonna walk out of here today without making a purchase and I was gonna be really proud of myself. How nice is that though? 9 99 instead of 22 pounds, that is so good. I just can't help myself when it comes to beige Le I just love it. This one is also so cute. Look at that, it's like a little yellow chick with the eggs. That is adorable. I just love the shape of them as well. They're kind of like plush. Oh no, look, another Le Creuset. There's a blue one. They literally have so many, I can't get over that. I kind of love this. I think it's so cool, like the gold bubble and stuff. I don't think I'd actually buy it, but I actually quite like it. And I've also just seen this bare brick dupe and it's got little pugs on. How cute is that? If I was a pug fan, I probably would buy that. Although I kind of don't really get the bare brick hype type thing, but look at that. 12.99, they've got two of them in um, Cambridge Beehive <laughs> Home Sense, if anyone wants them. I found another one. Look at how cute this one is. It's got little love hearts on. I don't feel like the lighting is really doing it justice. This one is 14 99 because it's slightly bigger. They actually seem to have quite a lot in here, which would be great if I collected them, but I don't. I'm not really into them, but I know a lot of people are, so I thought I'd show you them. These are quite cool as well. I feel like these are like a similar, along a similar line. And they've also got this one over here, which is like a little mermaidy print one. And this as well, I feel like is similar. It's like a little, I don't know, you could probably put something in there and then have something on the train. It's kind of giving the same sort of vibes, which is quite cute. It's like a coppery thingy. Oh my God, that vase is so creepy. How much is this? This is 24 99 which I don't feel like is too bad. A member of staff has literally just come and put another one out and they've also got this matching like balloon dog thing. And then also she's just put this one out as well, which is like a really cool like purple and pink marble print. So maybe that's why there's so many in here today because she's literally just getting them out on the shelves. Cause I feel like these are so popular and they sell really quickly. So if you want them, run do not walk to Cambridge Beehive Centre because apparently they've got a lot today. 